A few weeks ago, something unusual happened in Southern California. It rained. And that's unusual enough, but it rained a lot. And the good thing is, we saw it coming. So I got prepared by doing all my workouts in advance. And that way I could stay in shape and dry at the same time. And I wouldn't have my neighbors wondering what that wacky pastor guy was doing running around in the rain. But then I heard the voice of my 10-year-old self in my head saying, wait, you used to love running in the rain and getting wet and messy. And that's when I remembered that in my closet, I had waterproof shoes, moisture wicking shirts, jackets with hoods, everything I needed to fulfill that old Scandinavian proverb. There is no such thing as bad weather, just improper clothing. That decided it. Out I went, and you know what? It wasn't uncomfortable. It was refreshing. It was exhilarating, and the neighbors didn't laugh. They actually cheered me on. I had been believing lies, and it almost cost me one of the best workouts ever. How much of your life have you lost believing lies? It may not be the uncomfortable cold of the rain, but an uncomfortable conversation you've been avoiding. It may not be what people think about the way you run, but the way you live, especially when it comes to resisting the temptation to go along with the crowd. There are lots of examples. Bottom line, we live lives of comfortable conformity, doing what it takes to go along and get along. We may call it something like not rocking the boat, the Bible uses a different word, bondage. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. You know, living as a Jesus follower may put your comfort and reputation on the line, but the life of freedom God promises us is so much better. Not always easier, but always better. Besides, God's provided us with all the protective gear we need to weather anything we can face out there. You can read all about it in Ephesians 6. And remember, you're not running alone. You've got your faith family running with you and the Holy Spirit living inside you. So let's get out there, no matter what the weather looks like.